Welcome to the Telabs Optical LAN installation series video, Installing the Panorama EMS Software. The purpose of this video is to provide instruction for the installation of software for the Panorama Pawn EMS application. This video serves as a quick reference guide. Detailed procedures for installing software for Panorama can be found in the Panorama Pawn EMS Installation and System Administrator Guide. The topics covered in this video will be an overview of the Optical LAN Panorama EMS, prerequisites and other requirements for installing Panorama EMS software, and a step-by-step -step process for installing the software. The Panorama Pawn Element Management System, or EMS, allows users to manage and monitor Telabs equipment in the network. The EMS resides on an external Windows server with network access to each managed OLT. The Panorama application provides a secure avenue for ads, moves, and changes to the network, as well as a storehouse for OLT information. For this reason, the Panorama Pawn server requires either a Postgres SQL or Oracle database installation. If using an Oracle database, the database must be installed prior to installing the Panorama Pawn EMS. Note, if using the Oracle database, please consult documentation for the process for installing and setting up the Oracle software prior to installing the Panorama software. No database installation is needed if PostgreSQL is being used. It is installed as part of the EMS installation. The Panorama Pond software application needs to be installed on a Windows server. The OS used on this server depends on the database being used. For hardened deployments where Oracle is used, the OS needs to be Windows Server 2012. Postgres can use either Windows Server 2012 or 2016. The server also requires a minimum processor, board memory, and hard drive space. For most installations, the CPU for the server should be at least four cores, 16 gigabit of RAM, and 300 gigabit of hard drive space. This is true whether the server is standalone or a virtual machine. The server should also have access to a dedicated network interface for management traffic. If the tconfig analog phone application is used, a second NIC is recommended. To configure the primary NIC in Windows, in the control panel, select Network and Internet. Select View Network Status and Tasks. Select the connector under the View Your Active Networks that is associated with the primary NIC. Click Properties in the Ethernet Status dialog box. Click on Internet Protocol Version 4 and select Properties. Verify that the IP address is the primary or management IP address for the network. If a separate interface is going to be used for tconfig operations, the primary interface metric will need to be set. To do this, click the Advanced button, uncheck Automatic Metric, and enter a 1 in the Interface Metric field, and then click OK. This will need to be done for the secondary tconfig interface as well, changing the interface metric to another integer besides 1. There are two environmental variables that need to be deleted prior to the EMS installation, Perl 5 lib and Java options. To remove these variables, select Start, Control Panel, System and Security, System, Advanced System Settings, Environmental Variables. Scroll through the system variables. If Pro 5 Lib or Java options are listed, select them and click Delete. To download the Panorama Pond EMS software, follow these steps. Log into the Telabs portal at nexus.telabs.com. Select Support, Product Information and Downloads. Under Product Documentation and Software, click on Optical LAN Software. Under the Generally Available Software, click on the desired software load. Follow the protocol for your browser to download the Panorama Pawn file. Locate the file in the Downloads folder and double-click on it to start the installation. The Install Anywhere application may take a few minutes to load.
After an introduction, the software asks you to accept the terms of the license agreement. Then you are asked to choose the install set. When installing the server software, select the last option to install the Panorama server and client software on the server. You may be asked to provide server access to TCP ports used by Panorama. Click Add Rules to make the needed changes. Next, the system asks you if you want to use the default installation or create a custom installation. The default installation disables secured connections, enables optical LAN, disables multiple tenant access control, disables integrated tconfig, uses default RMI ports, and the use of Postgres SQL database. If any of these parameters need to be changed, it is required to complete a custom installation. For the purposes of demonstration, this video will go through a custom installation. A secured client connection uses a public key infrastructure, or PKI, to secure the channel between the EMS client and the server. In the Deployment Options window, if an optical LAN solution is required, check Optical LAN. Multiple tenant access control allows various resources within the network to be partitioned into multiple domains, which can be used to restrict access only by authorized personnel. Integrated tconfig servers should also be enabled if ONTs with SIP agents are going to be used. SIP agent ONTs include the 142R, 131W, and the 729GP. Next, Select the IP address to be used for the EMS management interface. If tconfig has been selected, a second interface needs to be selected for tconfig traffic. It is recommended that these two be separate addresses. Panorama requires four RMI ports. The installer will verify the availability of these ports. If different ports need to be used, they can be entered here. It is recommended that these values not be changed. A destination folder can be specified for the Panorama files. It is not recommended that these be changed. The system will then ask for database preferences. Options are Oracle or PostgreSQL. If Oracle is selected, the database must already be installed. For Postgres, you will need to select parameters for the install. The default Postgres super user password is Telabs. The database SID is EMS. The database IP address should be the Panorama host IP address. The default destination port is 5432. The default PON owner and PON user passwords are the same as the user names. PON owner and PON user. Take note of any password changes made to the database. Review the pre-installation summary. Make sure that everything is correct and click install. The process takes several minutes. Once the install is complete, the Start Telabs Panorama Pond Services dialog appears. Click Yes to start the Panorama Pond EMS services in the background. To start the client, go to the Windows Start menu, click on the Telabs folder, and select Panorama Client. The default username is EMS Admin. The default password is EMS Admin. This concludes this video. In it, you have learned an overview of the Optical Land Panorama EMS, prerequisites and other requirements for installing Panorama EMS software, and a step-by-step -step process for installing the software.